What's up, everybody? This is Corn Kid Twenty Two. Um, a lot of people have been um, <clears throat> uh, what you call it? Um, commenting on the Dark Knight Rises trailer, so I thought I'd give uh, my perspective of it. Um, I loved it. Christopher Nolan and his brother, um, geniuses. You know they don't disappoint. Excellent script writing. <clears throat> excellent script writing. Excellent storytelling. You know. Um, I saw it in uh, the theater with uh, Harry Potter. Knew it was going to be there. I was anticipating it. Saw it. Fantastic. Loved it. Um, I'm not going to do a description of it because basically um, you can find it online. Uh, it got leaked. But if you want the really good version, the studio quality version, uh, just wait a couple days. Anyway, um... A lot of people have been saying, you know, who is Gordon talking to? Um, I think it's Bruce Wayne or Batman because there's a line in there that Gordon says, uh, you know, we were in this together. Um, and then uh, I think it's either it's Bruce Wayne, obviously. Uh, you can tell the voice. Um, he says, you know, uh, what if Batman uh, doesn't come back? Um Gordon says, uh, you know, he must. And I think he says, you must, if I remember correctly. Because the audio is not too good on the, um, the, uh, the bootleg. So if that's true, uh, I'm thinking Batman finally, um, or Bruce Wayne, uh, trusts uh, Gordon so much as to tell him his secret identity. Now, there's another theory going around um, that uh, Bane, who's in the film, um, who's the main villain, um, besides uh, Liam Neeson as Ra's al Ghul, there's a theory going around now, I hope it's not true, that Gordon gets his back broken. Okay, this is a spoiler alert right now for those of you who don't know uh, who Bane is in the comics. Bane in the comics basically took Batman and broke his back, like literally, over his knee and left him crippled for a couple issues. So, um, you know, Bane's a class 90s character, just like Venom. Um, I think, no, Venom was 80s, I'm sorry. Bane was more 90 to 93, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, there's a rumor going around now that Gordon gets his back broken instead of Batman, and that's what um, uh, ignites Bruce's Bruce Wayne's uh, passion or mission um, to come back to Gotham City. I'm hoping this is not true because it wouldn't really make sense. Uh, not only hence the title Dark Knight Rises, um, but in storytelling, you want your hero, if you're going to go up against a, uh, a, a behemoth like Bane, um, you know there's going to be a shitload of a badass fight. You know that Bane is going to topple Batman. You know, I'm hoping that uh, he breaks Batman's back, honestly. I would love to see it. I know it's kind of sick of me to say, but uh, I've been wanting this, you know, just just that moment because the hero will fall and this is this is his redemption this is the way uh batman will get back and overpower bean somehow um i'm hoping that it happens because even though i have i'm getting the comic um you know it's just one of those things it's like the death of superman when superman died you know everyone when ape sh not ape shit, but like kind of crazy, it's like, oh my god, Superman's dead. And then all of a sudden, I think it'll mean more in the movie itself. Hmm. That. Whatchamacallit? Um, that this, this hero is Batman. You know, he's using all this technology, you know, he's just a man. The bat can be broken. A man, can, the Batman can have his bat broken. I think that's going to be really powerful in the film, um, and I think that'll 
work great. Gordon having his back broken, uh, I just don't see it, honestly. Um, I could see him getting the shit kicked out of him, beaten by Bane, because um, I think as Batman, uh, I guess supposedly he's going to quit his day job or whatever being Batman. Um, I'm, I'm guessing, this, this is another theory that I have, that Gordon takes charge and tries to defeat Bane, but Bane just beats the living crap out of him. Um, and I think that's what ignites uh, um, Bruce Wayne to become Batman again. And I'm hoping, you know, as I said before, that Batman gets his back broken. Um, now, there's another theory in the uh, trailer that Catwoman is at the end, at the uh, very end, after the title sequence of The Dark Knight Rises. Um, uh, there's a silhouette of Catwoman. No, Catwoman's not in it. She She's in the movie, but she was not in the trailer. You see Batman backing up, scared shitless. He's limping. And then all of a sudden, out of the left hand of the side of the screen, you see this, the big behemoth Bane freaking walking towards him. And, and, uh, fucking Batman just having this scared look on his face. It was crazy. Freaking crazy. Um, so yeah, that, that was really emotional. It looks really great. I love it. Um, Christopher Nolan did a great job. Um, I, I can't wait. It sucks that it's coming out next year, like a year later. And I just found out my stepdad is working on the negatives. He's going to be doing them. He did them this week, and he's going to be working on them next week. He just finished uh, the Harry Potter film. Uh, he finished that up. He was working about 14-hour days trying to get everything done uh, with his team. So Harry Potter is great. But, yeah, The Dark Knight Rises, I cannot wait for this film. Um because Bane, he's been in the animated shows. They've teased at Batman getting his back broken. And I hate to say it, he was in the uh, Batman and Robin movie. He looked totally flipping gay. Uh, he had the luchador mask and they teased that um, he was going to get... Batman was going to get his back broken, but let's just forget about that because... Joel Schumacher is uh, history's greatest villain when it comes to the Batman franchise. Um, thank God for Christopher Nolan. He resurrected the franchise. Oh, and another thing, besides resurrecting the franchise, I mean, here are a lot of reboots lately. Um, Warner Brothers is set to reboot the Batman franchise after, uh, what should we call it, um, Christopher Nolan is done with the franchise, with, with uh, the third film. Uh, Warner Brothers wants to reboot it. I'm like, are you kidding me? Seriously? This this is movie gold. You you don't need to reboot this franchise. It's, you know, I know you want to make a shitload of money, but come on. You know, you're already making a shitload of money with the, the Dark Knight and Harry Potter. And, you know, it's like, why do you need to reboot this franchise? You know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, should Batman, here's my, here's my thread. Should Bat the Batman franchise be rebooted after Christopher Nolan is done with uh, with the with the trilogy? Me, I say no. Just leave it the way it is. Honestly, same with Spider Man. I hope uh, Amazing Spider Man fails. I don't like the cast. I don't like anything about it. They're saying, "Oh, it's more dark and gritty." Okay, Marvel, you're fucking up. You're going the route of the Dark Knight. Everybody's going the route of the Dark Knight because they're getting on the the. Uh, their high horse about everything and making it more real and more gritty. You know, uh, it's stupid. Um, I hope the Amazing Spider-Man movie fails next year. The only movies I'm looking forward to next year are The Hobbit and Dark Knight Rises. That's about it. Um, I know there are a couple more movies in there. I'm not seeing Spider-Man. I don't want to see Spider-Man. I'm sick of all this 3D crap. Uh, that people are, are spewing out. Uh, sometimes 3D works, sometimes it doesn't. 
uh, in case of uh, I'm glad you know Christopher Nolan he's not doing the film in 3D he's doing it in IMAX which is fantastic I will see it in IMAX so that's my spiel you know let me know what you guys think should the Batman reboot uh, happen um, you know uh, what do you guys think of the trailer if you saw it let me know what you think um, comment below or just send me a video response I'll get them. I will uh, get them on my cell phone and I'll reply back to you as soon as possible. All right, take care, guys. I'm gonna hit the uh, go to bed because I gotta get up at uh, 5:30 tomorrow morning for work. All right, take care, guys. Bye bye. Oh, and another thing to all my Kingdom Hearts fans. Uh, there's gonna be an announcement teaser um, that I'm gonna be creating in Maya. I'm doing better in it, thankfully. So you guys might see some Heartless, you might not, but uh, yeah, the movie's still going on, um, and uh, will be updates. I'm in the process of moving right now, so um, that's what's taking up most of my time. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.